Hey man, it's about that time. Naruto, you about to get hit. Y'all uh, diehard Naruto fans, I gotta I gotta talk to y'all. I'm hitting y'all up. Don't worry, One Piece coming soon. Do wait, sorry no. Do I have to finish One Piece to give an honest truth? I think I should. You know, I don't think halfway through is good enough for the One Piece fans. I'll finish One Piece before I give an honest truth. That's a side note though, but it's coming, I guess. It's, it's, it's all about Naruto today, man. <sighs> The Fox Boy. Let's uh let's get into it. As usual, bro, we got a guide for the honest truths. We finally got like a set guide. I always been like, you know, kind of similar, but not a set guide for him. So how are we gonna do this? You always gonna give a recap. I'm gonna give y'all where to skip to if y'all don't feel like listening to that. Always gotta start off with good things they did. You know, maybe some honorable mentions if they have some, and also some plot holes if you wanna mention them if they have, if I wanna mention them if they have some. And then what they did wrong, it's always something the series did wrong. And then my honest truth at the end. Overall, how do I feel about the series? With that being said, let's get into it, man. Naruto Uzumaki, let's talk about your show, dude. All right, let's give a recap. The show's obviously about Naruto. Um, He has a tail beast within him, and uh, he wants to change the world how it is, make it more peaceful, make everybody accepted in the world no matter what they have, because him having that tail beast makes him different. He wants to be a, uh, he wanted to become Okage to do so. He starts off as a little scary little uh, little kid, grows up, matures, um, and he becomes you know less fearful and more courageous and uh he fights to keep a friend by his side throughout the series and then he uh eventually achieves become a hokai that's probably hey i'm gonna try to keep the recap short because this is literally about like people who already watched the series so i don't want to mention it too much unless it has something to do with what they did wrong a lot like if you don't understand a certain part of the recap you know what i mean but let's get to it man some good things that they did with naruto is the characters they got some very good character uh and then uh also want to say i want to say power system but let me see when naruto came out before i say something else damn hold on my clothes done hold on yeah so for like the big three power systems naruto did come out the last but it doesn't mean that it was copycat and i was thinking like one piece and um i wasn't gonna really mention bleach because their power system was kind of different but one piece hunter hunter well i guess one piece is a little different than hunter hunter and naruto too i guess hunter hunter and naruto is the most similar when it comes to um like power systems center as nen and then it, you also got chakra and it sparks off things of that nature you can sacrifice all your future chakra or something like that like with eight gates and then the same thing with gone did a lot of things similar with the power systems but hunter hunter did come out first i was going to say that naruto one good thing about it is the power system and it kind of like set the tone for it but i guess it came out last so i really didn't set the tone for it but it still has a decent power system some people don't really like it um it's good it's pretty good uh you gotta you gotta you know look at it in detail and pay attention to it but at the same time it's pretty solid so i give the power system the characters and then like more fights towards like okay i'll give them fights it's not like it was good fights all the way out but they had good fights in the beginning good fights like in the middle i guess ish and then also good fights in the end so that checks out for me they all had good fights the biggest like honorable mentions is like having real good villains madara was a very 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 good villain w build up itachi was a very very good builder obito was a very very good villain that's another thing that they did real good was the villains um how they defeated them is a whole different thing we're gonna get that into a later story later later in the video my bad some honorable mentions i want to mention is that um they have some very iconic things in the series obviously it's a part of the big three so there's going to be some things that you just can't touch like you know tail beast rasengan ross and shuriken manga like the shark on everything with the sharing on like this it's just a class that can't touch it so that's an honorable mention of something that they did good you no know, w for them makes the series so much better um but there are some things that they did wrong and that's really with like plot holes that we got to get to and also like things they did wrong in general so i don't know how to put this naruto so there's two parts where naruto went wrong making how they made naruto hokage and also how they set up boruto those are the two things that naruto did wrong wrong in my personal opinion and we're going to get to how they set up boruto and that's with the plot hole so i'm gonna kind of mix up my guide here so the plot hole is going to be mixed in with the second part on how they did wrong because i want to cover so one thing like i um i don't know if i'm gonna drop this video first or drop the other video i already filmed first other videos longer so i might drop that second but one thing that i mentioned in another video that may have dropped if you watched it or not was that i don't really like that i want to be hokage that i want to be 
pirate king that i want to be wizard king i don't like that ambition anymore um it's just not it. as i got more into anime it's just not it so I'm, I'm not saying it's terrible i can still watch it enjoy it and still think it's a very good anime but i i just would rather see something else a lot of anime are trying to kind of steering away from it newer anime which is cool but um yeah when you're doing that it kind of makes that dude become a hokage you know less like i say less um emotional and i'm saying that because no matter what naruto went through in the back of my head i knew he was gonna become okay just because of how the story was set up it's like they wouldn't end it off bad and i don't want him to end it off bad i'm fine with him becoming hokage but how he became hokage kind of didn't work um i wanted to see naruto fight younger like i wanted to see younger naruto fight as hokage not old wash naruto in boruto i wanted to see naruto in the naruto series as hokage fight if y'all get what i mean not naruto in the boruto series as hokage fight and i wanted to see naruto achieve hokage and fight as hokage in his series that's what i wanted to see and i think that's where they went wrong when they made him hokage at the end of the series and it's not like they went completely wrong with it it still works but honestly i felt like if they made if they found the way to make Ho naruto hokage for the war arc and he fights sasuke the next biggest threat against the world now that obito is defeated it and he fights him as hokage and wins as hokage and he basically makes himself the top hokage and achieves true peace as hokage he does it as hokage not become hokage afterwards it would have been a lot better than you know kakashi being or Tsunade being hokage during that time and period you know what i mean so that's why i feel like they did that wrong that's one thing that they did wrong is how they made him hokage i feel like he should have he didn't have to be hokage like during like pain arc or anything but after pain arc honestly he should have become hokage and if you don't want to give it after pain arc maybe we wait a little bit and during the war you know maybe hashirama would be like hey make him okage or something like that you know feel me like if they set up a way and i'm not really thinking of a detail i could probably come up all the way with naruto becoming okage in the war but they set up a way for naruto to become hokage during the war mid-war and he changes the battle and win the battle achieve true peace and then that happens like how it ended you know naruto and sasuke still making up i guess little lovey dubby little gay boys but oh i gotta cut that out cut that out <laughs> but um if, if and he achieves two piece everything with sasuke goes down and he's hokage at, at that moment because he felt like a leader the whole war arc was showing him as a leader he should have been hokage in that moment i feel like they went wrong another thing what they went wrong with is that obviously that plot hole everybody talks about black zetsu kage coming out of nowhere all of this right <laughs> So, how do I put this? The ending wasn't as bad as people make it. They made it good enough to set up a new series. Well, they, okay, they didn't really make it good enough. To, they was almost there. And there's two things that they could have done better, which they didn't do, because this is obviously what they did wrong, to make that ending better. You don't have to get rid of Kaguya. You don't even have to make Madara the last villain. Black Zetsu should have been more involved along with Obito building up to the war. When Obito was revealed to be Obito and not really Madara, Black Zetsu should have been revealed just as much. You know what I mean? We seem, I feel like we seem more white Zetsu going around than Black Zetsu. You know, you know what I'm saying? Black Zetsu was doing that deed, causing um the whole Kage format. Then it should have been more of Black Zetsu than seeing White Zetsu with you know Obito flashbacks and things of that nature. That's honestly how I kind of felt that it should have been. That would have helped it out. On top of that, when Kage was introduced, keep everything, right? Keep everything but as specifically specifically with kaguya and her lore during the war you're doing these flashbacks and you're doing this filler whatever mid fight but you're not truly expressing the fact that kaguya is running from someone we needed that suspense that she's running from someone and she's building this army for a reason kaguya barely talk i like when i think about the flashbacks i haven't watched naruto in a while so maybe she did talk a decent amount but when i think about kaguya and her flashbacks bruh i literally remember her just walking around silent as hell somehow her cheeks got clapped i don't know you know what i'm saying but express the fact that she's running from something this god tier level of a villain is running from something if they did that and express the fact that she just wanted a peaceful life with her family we kind of seen that when she went up to naruto and sasuke and it was like oh they see she sees her as her sons and this and that okay we need a little bit more and we're good express the fact that this army wasn't totally evil if they they didn't have to completely set it out there 
there but if they hinted at it you gotta hint at these things because i know that they planned for the Oza Susies to be the next villain during a the war they had to that's the whole reason why they put it in the end of the series otherwise you know i know they wanted to kill off madara but they had to use it if they wanted naruto to continue right so you have to have hinted at it if they would have just made it seem like kaguya had this plan the whole time because she just wanted a peaceful life and because she's running from something even bigger it sets up the next series it would have ended off the series right also with naruto being hokage at the time and naruto as the main character helping out the audience figure that out as well both of those if those are added would have made the series a whole lot better and the ending is specifically a whole lot better because the beginning of naruto was w tuning exams w hey pain art came back you know what i'm saying it's things with itachi w or they did it but they didn't do it so those are the big two things that they did wrong in my opinion they should have made naruto kage earlier not like nobody stronger than them <laughs> um on top of that and it's not actually it's not like nobody stronger than them it's not like really they listening to anybody else but other hokages you know what i'm saying so that should he should have been okage earlier and on top of that they should have did more with kage and black zetsu in the ending to make it less of a plot hole it still would have been a little plot hole there but or it couldn't have not been if you really think about it if you add the right amount it's not my series i don't know what to do with it but i feel like that's what they should have did but my honest truth after saying all of that after looking it all over after discussing all that obviously i'm setting the series up to be a 10 out of 10 so if they were to do if they were have to do those things in our so that i've stated earlier i would give the series 10 out of 10 but since they didn't do that what should i say i don't know <sighs> I'm gonna give Naruto about, I'm gonna give it an 8.5, 8 8.5 out of 10. Naruto is still a very good, iconic, classic W series. This is where it's supposed to be. It's there for a reason. I'm saying it works out. And overall, even with those points taken off for how they ended the series and what they did wrong, still a very good series. Still high detail, still in depth on a lot of characters. Um, Very diverse with like moves and things like that. Besides Naruto himself, everybody got good skill sets, but Naruto. You know, Ross Sanger I hey, you know what eight just because just because of that eight <laughs> okay 8 out of 10 w series not a 9 out of 10 not 8.5 not a 10 out of 10 but it is an 8 out of 10 i will allow it to be in a big three i give it respect for it to be in a big three just because of the iconic and classic moments really but hey man that's my honest truth on naruto how y'all feel let me know in the comments which y'all rate naruto out of 10 honest truth catch y'all in the next video love the support stay tuned